So we defined uh, the Mobius transformation uh, uh, Tz equal to Az plus B and Cz plus D or I just write W equal to Az plus B and uh, Cz plus D where AD minus BC is not equal to 0. Now you see that our the other elementary transformations we can find from here for example uh, if your c is equal to 0 okay so then uh, your c equal to 0 so we have what ad must be not equal to 0 and uh, what is your transformation so it is az plus b by d because c equal to 0 and this is nothing but what we already have this as b by d so i can say that this is alpha z plus c beta and we already discussed this as what the expansion or contraction then rotation and then translation linear transformation this one. okay so then uh, so for c equal to zero right now uh, if uh, you say a equal to zero okay a equal to zero and d equal to zero and uh, b equal to one and c equal to one then and then you see that your w is nothing but one over z okay and um, ad is 0 and bc is 1 so therefore ad minus bc is not equal to 0 so therefore we see that uh, the inverse transformation is a special case of our mobius transformation all right so now if your c is not equal to 0 in general because we consider c equal to 0 case here which becomes linear transformation but if we consider now c is not equal to 0 then then we see that your w I can write az plus b cz plus d and c is not equal to 0 so I will write this as a uh, factor of cz plus d numerator so I have to multiply this by a by c and here it is cz plus d and here what is extra the extra is minus a d by c and we already have a b here b so I can write this as if you divide then you see that this is a by c and remember that c is not 0 and this is plus I can write this as bc minus ad by c c is not 0 so this is well defined into 1 over cz plus d okay and um, because your ad minus bc is not 0 so this is not 0 so therefore it is not a constant transformation so this one so therefore your w you see that this is a combination of what the combination of uh, if, if i take this as capital z say uh, cz plus d all right and say uh, so this is uh, say a by c is equal to say alpha and bc minus ad by c equal to say beta hmm. so then if, if i consider this then w becomes what alpha plus beta over 1 over z okay so therefore your w is nothing but a combination of uh, the expansion contraction rotation and translation and inversion okay so this is a combination so this is the uh, this will include all the other preliminary transformations okay so so uh, uh, for c uh, again you consider that if c equal to 0 so we have seen that your w equal to your uh, w equal to some a d z plus b by d okay and uh, this is a linear transformation and under this transformation your the point at infinity goes to point at infinity otherwise it is for each uh, each point in the z plane I will get a point in the w plane so if we include the point at infinity for this transformation then uh, for this transformation so this is say tz okay so your t infinity if we include that t infinity is equal to infinity right t infinity goes to infinity then this is a what this is a uh, this has a one on correspondence with the z plane like extended z plane extended extended z plane to the extended 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 w plane okay so so this is the one on correspondence this is a one on correspondence between
the extended z, z plane to the extended z plane for c equal to 0 okay now we will show that uh, if we include the point at infinity then uh, for c is not equal to 0 also uh, this gives a one on correspondence between these two extended complex planes okay so next slide 